cut down in a short period of time. After that happened, the great herds of Brahmin cattle were brought in to graze the imported African grasses that were brought in that grew to, grew to some 12 or 14 feet tall. And when they burn, which they do because they light fires all the time, they burn at a really high temperature and literally burn up the soils. So between the sun and the dry season and the fires, the soils have been, the hot fires have been, now cool fires, that's a different story and I don't have time to get into that now. But the point is, the soils have gone and there are great stretches uh, of this area where the, the soils are ba essentially gone. And this is uh, Miravalle, a volcano south about uh, an hour, an hour and a half from Chris's place. And this is where um, I and my associates have a project. And we too are trying to create soils um, here. Um, and in this case, we, we decided we would try uh, a technique to reforest and build soils that's different than the one in Appalachia. Just different, not better uh, or worse. We don't know yet. Um, but what the plan was is that little individual trees, this is just the main, the main house and the tended garden, but uh, these individual trees start life in pots. They're underneath there. And they, they are potted in in compost. There's not really fertilizer added, it's just sort of compost. And then to half of them to that compost is added rock, volcanic rock material, which we've got from a quarry uh, 